What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. Here we are in a Freightliner Coronado. It's kind of done up, so I figure, why not just do it up? It is an orange color. You'll see it in a little bit in the daylight. Um, it's kind of out there, so I figure, why not just do it up? Put those big old exhaust pipes on. It's kind of, it's lowered, so I figure... Put those black rims on, um, you know, just kind of do almost like a show truck style with, a uh, minus a headache rack, but do something like something I wouldn't typically do. So we're picking up this. We're going to go from Salt Lake City. We were in Ogden, but I forgot. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, Salt Lake City is not that far away from Ogden. We're going from Salt Lake City to... Uh, I believe we're going to Nevada somewhere. Elko, Nevada. So, I figure we'd pick a little bit longer of a drive. This motor is very loud. It's very... Uh, it's got a lot of power. You'll see here in a moment when I turn it on. Alright, let's get going. Let's uh, make sure we're connected. Oh. Yeah. Do we have a parking brake on? Oh yeah, we do. Alright, we're pulling it. I turned on advanced coupling. Luckily it worked for this truck. And, uh, yeah. I was, I was gonna get rid of the interior light on this truck, but I didn't want to keep going back. I kept going back and forth to the upgrade place because I put in two GPS's, which obviously doesn't really work. Aesthetically, it's not pleasing to the eye for me. I gotta get off the phone in here. And, uh, yeah, let's see what this truck's all about. Turn right. I wanted to do the, the International Lone Star. Here we oh, barely see it. It's kind of, this, the interior of the, it's close. As you guys can see, the interior of the truck kind of the brightness is really up there um, I don't know I, I had to go with the wood grain and I'll um, right and then turn right there was a lot of chrome on it so I just you know stuck with that type of style turn right because like I said I was well, I didn't say it I was gonna go with the uh, international Lone star but uh that truck was, not only was it an automatic, but it was super quiet. Um, it was super Keep quiet, right. couldn't do and nothing to it. Right. Obviously, like a stock truck, you can't do anything to them, so I just decided to turn change it right. up and go with something with, go like, go with something that I wouldn't typically go with, like I did in my last episode. I mean, I would go with the classic XL, but... I typically wouldn't do it up the way I did it up. So yeah, this one's got a lot of power. Um, whoever made this mod, uh, wanted it to be like this, obviously. Uh, like I said, it's like you guys can see, and like I said, it's lowered. It's kind of like that show truck style. So I figure I keep it that way. Put that uh, air freshener there. Ooh, going out of my lane. This truck, I think, typically would have a 10 speed. Um. I went with uh, 13 speed. I, it was set on automatic because I was going to go with the Lone Star. I went back to change it to a 13 speed. <clears throat> For me, it's not that big of a deal to change it. It's just, it's not, it takes a couple minutes. Uh, you know, I got to go to my control, my controllers and, you know, change up a couple different buttons for the range and the splitter, which isn't really a big deal, but in between episodes, I kind of like to keep it going. Um, 
it's it's probably been a good 45 minutes between my last episode but you guys you guys don't know that I mean you guys know what I typically do is record two episodes right after each other um, I went to my mod shop and got rid of about 20 mods that I had extra and it's still kind of iffy but that's just when you're modding and, and anybody that does modding that's that's even if it's Steam Workshop mods, um, it's a it's a little iffy sometimes, uh, especially because the game is in between uh, 1.36. It just became 1.36 probably three months ago, and it keeps going up. The game version keeps changing. 1.36.1.7. I don't know what it's on now. Let's get a sound of that. Let's get to hear the engine break. That sounds good. Speed limit's 80. I'm not going to go 80. I'll probably keep it around 65, 70. Uh, I didn't know the International Lone Star was stock. I couldn't really see. Like, I was trying to look down, and I couldn't see where the shifter would be. It kept showing me, like, almost to... Like, it kept showing me like that instead of uh, showing me down. And then it kept doing a funny thing with the camera where it kept resetting back to looking straight. So I couldn't really see if there was a shifter there. Um, so I decided to put, make it an automatic and try and drive it that way. And then I was driving it around. I'm like, man, this truck's super quiet. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to get rid of that. I also got rid of the flashing lights. Um flashing lights, the police vehicles. It wasn't bad, but just just extra mods. I want to keep it real minimal. At least what I want to try and do. In a couple months, I'm going to be back to the same spot. I can already tell. But, uh... So, here comes the... Oh, we're going to be going through... We probably have to stop at a way station, is what I'm thinking. Is what's coming up. Uh, let's see here. Port of entry. Yes, we do. Okay, go away. Is it this one? Yeah, I think it is. Does... Never Wish... mind. I'll find a new route. Wish the route guidance would uh, tell you that you've got to get off. Because... I was looking at that instead of <laughs> instead of uh, looking at anything else. I gotta keep going. Right. Fifty-two thousand four hundred and sixty pounds. That's not that much considering how the truck is. Yeah, we haven't stopped at a way station in quite some time. I wish the route, like I said, like I was saying earlier, I wish the route guidance would kind of, you know, tell you that you got to get off here. I know it's probably not. It probably is a little difficult considering sometimes you got to stop and sometimes you don't have to stop. So it, it'd probably be a little difficult for the makers of the game to do that. Seventy-one. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and die. Don't drink and die. drive, ladies and gentlemen. So what I want to do for this new year, or for the new year, uh, one of my, one of the things, I don't really go by, um, I don't make resolutions because, I don't know, I just, it's kind of like, most people like to make them, uh, tell their friends about it, and they end up not doing it, and uh, they get clowned on by their friends, basically made fun of. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a lot different now than I was when I used to drink and stuff like that. You guys don't know it, but, you know, some people do that do watch this. Um, so I don't drink anymore, so I don't make resolutions really anymore. I don't, I mean, I mean, that's not, 
the main thing of it, but I used to be like, yeah, next year I'm going to do this and this, and then, or I'm not, I'm going to not drink as much and stuff like that. It was all a mental thing. It wasn't really real. I mean, for me, it wasn't like a real thing because the next day I'd be drinking, you know, or I'd be hungover and be drinking or whatever, whatever the case may be. I mean, I wasn't, I told you guys before, I'm not a, I was never a fan of getting drunk, but, uh, I was more of a social drinker, but still, at the same time, around the time that I used to make resolutions was the time where I would uh, drink excessively and then make a resolution where I would tell myself and my friends that I was going to do this or that, and I'd get made fun of the next day because I was probably doing what I wasn't supposed to be doing, whatever the re resolution may have been. So now that that's out of the way, I know I kind of said I wasn't going to keep talking about the same thing over and over, but it's just my personality. Um, so, something I do want to do, and this is probably, I probably shouldn't say it out loud, but what the heck, um, but it's not really a resolution, it's just something I really got to do for myself, is I got to start either working out or being a little bit more active in what I'm doing because I I get sweaty just going outside and uh, you know picking up a couple leaves and putting them in the trash and I'm not overweight I'm not like fat I mean not like fat bad but or chunky or overweight I would call myself average because I really don't have a stomach I used to be I used to be you know I used to be quite a big person uh, I used to be about 255 pounds at, uh, when I was drinking, when I used to drink about three and a half years ago. So, you know, nowadays I'm about 210, and it's, and I'm 6'3", so, uh, so whatever, <laughs> insert, tag, insert whatever you want there. Um, so I want to, I just need to be active, a little bit more active, instead of getting, you know, getting sweaty. Go straight on. Going from like, going like a hundred yards from the parking lot to inside wherever I'm going. And a lot of that has to do with diabetes. Uh, sugar is too, when my sugar's too high or even too low, I start to sweat a lot. And people are like, man, you're sweating a whole lot, like didn't even do anything you're super lazy or whatever they may have say whatever they may say I'm just but you know when it comes down to it I really don't do much I don't I don't walk a lot or you know I don't walk when I don't have to and I don't you know do uh, chore like what people would call like chores and stuff like that or anything really kind of, I'm almost, I would, I would say that I'm like a bum, I pretty much do nothing, like what people would consider, like, man, you don't do nothing, you're a bum, oh my god, stop again, um, so, yeah, I pretty much let myself go too far, and that, like I said, it has nothing to do with weight, it just has to do with just being super lazy, um, so, you know, I do get up and I do go out and I do do stuff. I just, I don't know. I gotta change it up a little bit. Like I said, it's it's all it's all a mind game. Lost a little bit of gas. We're trying to take off in fifth. But I probably shouldn't have said it out loud and told you guys because now some of the people that do watch my videos do know me in real life, and they're going to hold me accountable, which if you heard anything I said, because I kind of drilled it into your guys' heads, um, about the resolutions, I was, I'm not big on it, but... I do gotta change things up though for myself, just for better health. You know, better health. 
I know my diabetes would be a lot better. I'm pretty low as it is. You know, my A1C is very good for someone like myself, uh, considering I don't work out and I don't do much of anything other than gaming and going out occasionally to eat or hang out with my friend. Uh, so yeah, that's something. Maybe I should be held accountable so that, uh, oh, I was going to get over it. So that, um, I do it. I end up doing it. So, I don't know. I didn't mean to say fat. <laughs> I do call myself fat. Or I used to call myself fat, but I don't typically like to use that language to other people. I mean, it's not like a bad word or anything, but you know what I mean. I'm not going to beat a dead horse anymore. Alright, we're already here. And it was... This drive wasn't... This drive was typically further than what I normally drive. I normally drive only like a hundred and something miles. But, um, in the game, like 130 miles, 140 miles. This one is probably four something. Or three something. Or maybe it was two something. I don't really know, to be honest with you. But I know it was a lot further than what I typically drive, and it seemed like we got here super quickly. Um, I saw a flashing lights vehicle back there, and I don't have anything in, so I don't, maybe it's a SES thing. Peter would be able to tell me if it's an SCS thing with, with the flashing lights. But then again, he's playing ETS 2 because they just released the bigger map. Um, I just, I bought ETS 2 because it was on sale and it was in my, I mean, it's always on sale. Um, ETS 2 and ATS are always on sale. Um, for four nine, uh, I think it's seven nine nine or eight ninety nine for ATS. But Go straight for on. ETS 2, it's the original game that came out before this one, if you don't know. Um, it's in Europe. Turn left. And it's an older game, so it only costs like $4.99. So I ended up purchasing it and getting like Turn left. the DLC that comes with a couple places. It doesn't come out with the new one. The new one is like $11.99 or something like that. Or maybe more. $17.99. But, um... You have arrived at your destination. Your rap guidance is now finished. But yeah, the new one is, um... The new map is actually humongous, but... I ended up just purchasing... My, I think I got France... And Italy... And something else. I will start showing you guys once I get things worked out. Uh, but I won't put it out there for... I mean, I did put it out there. I did tell you guys, but um, I'm not gonna tell you guys when I will upload ETS 2. It'll probably be whenever I get the DLC of the new map. Even though I haven't really seen what it's about anyways, but... Not tough, but we're really close. I just hit that side. We're really close to the side there. Is what I was going to say. Right as we nailed it. Alright. What's going on? Still hitting it, probably. Yeah, this is tough. Parking spot. Now, where's the other one? It's right in front of me. This is gonna be a doozy. Clear that now, so I can come in here for. If it was straight be back, right behind me, it'd be fine. But it's a little bit over to the passenger side, as you guys can see. 
I'm just looking off my right mirror right now. Yeah, that's why I should have paid attention to the other mirror. Well, no, it's... I always underestimate myself because I don't want to overdo it. Can't see because my exhaust pipe. I don't want it to go big. Go big or go home. Shifters coming loose, like the the knob. The knob is coming loose, which I don't know why it would. I don't like turn it. Doesn't make any sense. To me. All right. Pretty straight. I don't know what we look at look like on the driver's side though. It's just uh, right here. Should have done that too. Uh, that's pretty good. What I forgot to do was... Oops, sorry. Forgot to take a screenshot. That's what I forgot. I forgot everything in this. Just, uh, get rid of this real quick. Pretend like that didn't happen. Alright, let's turn our truck off. What do you guys think of this? Look how lowered it is. I think the fenders in the front would hit the tire. Uh, it's very chromey. I try to limit it as much by making the gas tank the same color as the truck and the steps as well. I put those on as well. Um, the headache rack is chrome, but like you see everything else. I like the little reverse light. I'm not a fan of those on real regular vehicles. Those that spotlight thing that's up there, that light. People are really into those right now. And they put them on their vehicles and use them in traffic. And luck, luckily for them, there's no cops around. But I'm not a fan of those lights. And I'm not a fan of the yellow ones either. In California, I don't know if those are legal. The really yellow fog lights that people just drive around with. As far as the UK, I don't know nothing about that, but that big old white light is what people have on their trucks right now. Or even some cars, Subarus have them. This truck's pretty... I like Coronados, I just don't like the style that this one is. But anyways, let's drop it off. Hit T. Stop jibber-jabbering your ears off. Excellent car parts delivered from Salt Lake City to Elko, Nevada, 212 miles. I thought it was like 300, 400 miles. I was way off. Four hours, eight minutes, 33.1 gallons consumed. We're going to continue. I'll show you the this one. It's pretty, it's really chrome. That's what uh, most stock trucks, but I made it the Harley Davidson one because that was pretty popular uh, when it first came out they made the Harley Davidson edition I believe it was yeah but you can't do nothing to this and I just same with this truck I put the black rooms on I did put up obviously you could see I put them on here only because it's kind of like Harley Davidson style I mean they'd probably go with chrome normally but yeah I stuck to that one so anyways guys I know it's kind of going back to my old ways on this video as far as what I was talking about, but that's just my personality. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Take care. Get off the phone, woman. Peace out.